The Lagos State Ministry of Education has warned private schools in the state not to open for third-term academic activities. This warning is in reference to the plan by some private schools in the state to resume academic activities for the third term of 2019 and 2020 session via online teaching from Monday, April the 27th of 2020. The Ministry of Education, in a statement signed by the Commissioner for Education, Fola Shade Adefisayo, said schools in the state remain closed until further notice. Adefisayo acknowledged the financial burdens of online education on parents and schools during this period and called for continuous dialogue between school and administrators and parents. Now joining us live via Skype is Brenda Uno, who is a writer. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning. Good to have you. Uh, how do you respond to this new statement, so to speak, from the Commissioner for Education? Okay, generally, I, I think that um, it is okay. it's okay for the schools to open if they want to, online schools. But what I think is not okay is the, is the forcing of parents to pay school fees at this time. I would say that the schools need to be a little bit more sensitive in terms of knowing that parents are not earning. Most parents are not earning at this time. And so everybody is even very worried about what is going, going to happen going forward. So it is good to have the children engaged. It would be nice to have children engaged. So if anybody is um, open to it and um, available for online teaching, that's fine. But the, the problem will now be how much should be charged for that and how would we prorate it to the school fees. So that is what is really causing the entire um, conversation. You know, and I know that the schools on their own hand are thinking of how to keep their staff salaries being paid. But then we too are not getting any, any payment. So it has to be delicately balanced, mm -hmm. really. Just, just to quickly add that, yes, there are conversations about discount, uh, you know, of the fees at this time. I mean, according to the commissioner whom we spoke to this morning. However, as a parent, how do you think this is going to be easy? How is this going to play out uh, for a parent who's got uh, children who are in school also? Okay, well, I, I personally have four children. Um, one is in preschool and three of them are in, okay, one in preschool, two in primary and one in secondary school. So you can imagine um, the one in preschool, we, we are not having any online classes for them at this time. They just send in worksheets from time to time for us. But the ones in senior school now, imagine me, I'm, I'm battling between three uh, three devices, following up on Zoom class on this one, Google class on the other one, you know, and it's a full-time job. And I'm beginning to wonder that what exactly am I paying for? They're sending in classes, but I'm the one controlling, I'm the one explaining for that, I'm the one following up with the and making sure that they're focused on what they're supposed to be doing. It is a really hard task for parents at this time. So I think that this, we need to just arrive at some sort of, you know, some sort of agreement between parents and the school to help each other because it's not even very easy. It's a learning curve for most parents. Many people don't know how to use some of these apps and it's really been tough. Mm -hmm. At least I've been speaking to parents and I know that it's a general concern. Yeah, I suppose new situation calls for new strategies. Thank you very much, Brenda, for your time and do stay safe. Mm -hmm.